this is the multi socket, and this is the connecting wires, and this is the relay or a switch, and this is the sensor, this is the sensor, and this is the farm, and this is the house of the farmer we try to make it in real life, and this is the tank or the water source, and this is the power source where in Rwanda we have a different policy where you can use as a solar panel or you can use cells that may provide 6 volts for activating this. Uh, also, you can adjust by this by taking any kind of code that you want. So, let's go to the demonstration without any time for delay. So, moving on to the demonstration, let's first put it in real life to understand how it works uh, for all the audience to understand. So, let's say that I'm the sensor. The moisture so also, let me say that I'm the relay or switch. I'm going to act like the processor. So, if I'm placed uh, as the sensor, moisture sensor, current is going to be sent in me, but it won't flow through because I'm not in something that will conduct. So, if I'm in dry, if I'm in a dry uh, place, I, there will not be a signal conducted. So, and if I'm in a wet place or a land that has been just irrigated has enough water, a certain amount of water, according to, to a, a program, or I'm in, um, in a land that will conduct any signal. I will just send a signal to the processor. And me, as the processor, I'm going to analyze the signal that I'm getting from the sensor. Uh, according to the conditions that I have given, or the codes that, we have been, that, uh, that I have been uploaded into, I'm going to respond accordingly to me. If I receive the signal that the, the soil is wet, there's no need for irrigation. I'm not going to send any signal to the sensor to power on the water pump. But if I receive the signal that the, the, the land is wet, it means it needs more water. I am going to immediately, uh, automatically tell the relay or the switch that the land needs water. So as the relay, after receiving the signal, which is very voice from the processor, by knowing if water is up, if the soil is dry, I will be able to activate water pump, which will fetch water from the tank and that mitigate the dry soil. And if you send the signal that soil is dry, is wet, I will not activate the water pump. So let me try to see how it works as a dem demonstration. So now we can get the real demonstration. Um, as I understand, these uh, may be for the judges to see. I don't know if we can do it. Okay, so this is one farm, but in two different conditions. Uh, there is a wet, uh, in a wet condition, and the dry condition. So, in a wet condition, maybe we have finished to irrigate, or we are about, or it has just been rained. In a, a dry farm, in a dry condition, maybe the water has just, there was transpiration, or the certain amount of water, the moist we need, has just been, uh, it's, it has just been raw. So we need, um, it, we, we need to irrigate, because the plants will need water. So, uh, this is uh, the sense, the moisture sense. It will detect the amount of water in the soil. If a certain amount of soil in the water is reached, it, uh, it will not irrigate. Maybe if it is enough. If it is not enough, according to the condition you have set, um, maybe you can move the cursor. Okay. Moving the, according, uh, maybe you can see the condition you have uh, set here. So if the moisture, the moisture level is above 40%, um, meaning it is moist enough, uh, just digital write raw. Send, send raw is digital. Raw is zero volt. Don't send any volt. So if it is LS, if it is uh, um, dry, if it is dry or uh, below. below, just send high. Irrigate. Send in a, a, a five volt signal just to irrigate. So we can try on the demo and you can just see how it works. So this sensor is now placed in this um, moist soil. So yeah. So it's now 
it's in the moist soil, so it won't There's need no to need irrigate. irrigation. There's no need to irrigate. Maybe it has rained or irrigation has just been finished. So if we put it now in the dry land, uh, we, in, in a dry condition, but this is the same farm, you won't need to move the sensor in real life. We are moving to demonstrate. So if the sensor now is in the dry land, it will need to irrigate. It will need to irrigate automatic, automatically. So you see that it is irrigating. So if it is put then in this also, oh my God. In the, it, it may be irrigation has just been finished or a certain amount of irrigation has finished. Maybe we won't wait for this to irrigate because of time limit. We won't wait for this to irrigate until uh, maximum, maximum uh, the 40% has been reached. We can maybe accelerate it by putting in what, some water. So, so it is irrigating since it is in dry season, but when we put water, it is going to immediately stop because the, the maximum water is going to be reached. It, yeah, so if we, okay, we have accelerated the irrigation, so it, just, it has just stopped. So maybe if we move then in the dry condition again, it will irrigate. And if in the moist, it will just stop. So we can now move to the conclusion.